Okay, well, welcome to Toronto. Great to have you at the Toronto Film Festival. Thank you. Um, what can I say? Woody Allen, my favorite filmmaker of all time. Is it something that every actor just, you know, this is, I have to have this on my resume? Well, it would never, ever have occurred to me in a month of Sundays that I might ever get to work with him. And uh, so when I was asked to interview, I was terribly excited. When I got the job, um, that was the nice, the n best bit was getting the job. After that, it was, oh, God, now I've got to do it, you know, and come up with the goods. Now, what <laughs> is the process, Gemma, with, with Woody? I understand, like, does he give you a full script, or does he sit down and explain what he wants? And explain well, it to me. <laughs> I'd been told that I wouldn't get a script. Um, so for my test, uh, I never actually saw him, but I was given two little scenes to perform on the test. And then I got the job, so I was very, very thrilled. And um, uh, the casting director said, it's a great part, it's a great part. So I said, oh, wow, will there be more than those two scenes? And she said, yes, yes, no, there are a lot more scenes. So then I got really worried and thought, God, how am I going to learn the lines? So I kept pushing and saying, I'd love to get a script. So I was actually very lucky, one of the few who did get a script in advance. That'll go down so in I history. knew what was going to happen, yes. <laughs> yes. That's wonderful. Yeah. And, then, and then you start to develop Helena. She, she is a great character, I have to say, because, you know, let, let's face it, we all love Woody Allen because of his neurotic characters and everything. Yes. She kind of tops the, the cake here, don't you yes, think? Yes, yes, no, she's pretty dull. Yes, yes. <laughs> and if I was to des describe the character, you'd, th you'd want to slit your throat and think, I don't want to see that, sounds too, too depressing. Because she's you know, an older woman, her husband's gone off with a young man and she's taken to the bottle and her daughter doesn't like her and her husband doesn't like her. And, I mean, her son-in-law yeah. doesn't like her, but somehow through Woody's lens, you know, he's very compassionate and I, I hope one finds her quite touching and funny. Well, exactly, yeah. exactly, yeah. because, yes, it's all that what you've described, but you do feel sorry for her. I yes. mean, what, you know, listen, if your your husband, after how many years of marriage, dumps you for some young tart, you know, yes, yes. I mean, I, you know, I, my, my, you know, I'm behind yes. you, I'm yes. in your camp, you know, yes. um, and you also get to work with some fantastic people in this movie. Indeed. I mean, let's just start with Sir Anthony Hopkins. Yes. <laughs> well, that was a thrill. We had actually met before, and um, our background is in theatre in England, so somehow we feel like we're part of the same club. And we're also Welsh, both Welsh, which is a big bond. And uh, so it was lovely to work with him. I had a very good time. Yeah. And mm -hmm. would you, you know, do, uh, the, the character too, she, she goes to a psychic, obviously. Her whole mm -hmm. life is surrounded by what this woman tells her, who's obviously just taking her for her money. Yes. But, you know, they do become friends and what have you. But um, would you, in your life, ever go to one of these women? Uh, no, I'm a complete skeptic. So that was, you know, a real challenge for me to try and believe that she really believed. And I think that's what makes her touching, really, that somehow she has a kind of optimism, even amongst all the chaos, and believes that it's possible. And, and then she meets this chap. And um, I was told that, well, I read the script, thought, oh, I've got a love interest. This is good. Mm -hmm. And I'd been told that Antonio Banderas was going to be in the film. So I thought, oh, maybe Antonio is my love interest. So I was slightly taken aback when my love interest appeared on set. <laughs> But it all worked out for yes, the best. Yes, yes. <laughs> and then, of course, you have a little bit of uh, sparring moments with uh, Josh Brolin, who, yes. you know, each movie he does, he, he so surprises me. He's yes. so fantastic. And he was lovely to work with. And those big setups between me and Josh and Naomi were, were very challenging. And it was really exciting, actually, to play with, you know, really experienced actors. And we all sparked off each other because they're very scary to do those setups because if one of you falls down, the whole thing goes down like a pack of cards. Mm -hmm. so, that was a, a good challenge to do that. Yeah. Well, how was it once you did get on set and started to work, work with Woody Allen? What was his directing style were, like with you? Um, well, he didn't say a huge amount. And initially, partly because I was sort of, would go home at the end of the day and think, oh, I'm in a Woody Allen movie. You know, so for the first few days, I think maybe I, I wish I could go back and do it again because I don't think I was really present. And he didn't say a huge amount, which disconcerted me a bit at first. But then it kind of gave me confidence because I th thought he would tell me if he wasn't happy. Mm -hmm. And sometimes he did, was very, very direct. said, no, I didn't like that. Um, do it again. Or uh, So I, I trusted that he would tell me if, if I wasn't giving him what he wanted. Mm -hmm. And what he did reiterate was that I mustn't try to be funny which was a very good note, because it was very tempting to tip it over into farce, really. Yeah. And so he was very insistent that, to 
keep it real. Yeah, no, I, I loved it. I thought it, it's really, it's such a fantastic film. Yeah. You, of course, have such a, you know, very background in TV and film and, and of course, the stage. Mm -hmm. But I, I would think the stage for you must be one of those, you know, those rushes when you're out in front of that audience and there's probably nothing better to get that immediate, you know, reaction. Yeah, yeah, no, it, I have been very lucky to be able to swap between the two and, um, and it, they're very, very different mediums. And I do hugely enjoy doing theatre. Yeah, no, you're so fantastic. Now, of course, we can't let you go without talking to you about the Harry Potter franchise. I mean, right. what has it been like for you to be a part of that? And it's kind of bittersweet because it's all coming to an end. And, I know. You know, you've grown up with those those kids. Look at them. They're not kids anymore. Yeah. They're, they're wonderful adults, and they've all turned out so well. It must mm. be so rewarding and nice for you. Yes, well, I, I'm thrilled to have been part of it. I mean, I didn't have a huge amount to do, but it's been lovely to be part of it. And also... Again, there are so many actors, British actors in that, and now we're of a certain age, we all know each other, and it's like a big repertory company, and inevitably in the kind of huge setups there were, there were vast hours of waiting around, but the waiting around was usually in somebody else's trailer having a jolly good time, so... <laughs> are you impressed with how the kids have grown up? Amazing, amazing, and um, I, I, on this last film, you know, I was talking to them and saying, how does it feel to know that it's all coming to an end? And I think they couldn't quite take it in yeah. um, because it's been their life. Exactly. And they all seem to have their heads screwed on. I mean, all the young people. Um, because a lot of it is tedious, actually. Yeah. What they, a lot of hanging about they've had to do. Yeah. Um, big learning curve. But they're all very generous towards each other. And um, be very interesting to see what they go on to do. Yeah, they're very mm. lovely. I've interviewed them many times in there, and they're just what I always find too, like with, especially with British uh, kids that grow up in the, in the well, not so much dilemma. They're not in the Hollywood spotlight. They're mm. at home mm. with their grounded parents that keep yes. them that ways, and yeah. I think I think that helps. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I think so. Quite amazing. Mm. Mm. Uh, well, I want to congratulate you and, and uh, thank you for coming in here to talk about it. It's, thank you. You're so good in this movie. You did Thanks. such a fantastic job, and uh, good luck to you and have a good time while you're in Toronto. Thank you very much. Thank you for thank coming. You. Pleasure. Thank you.